Hello everyone. It is Lakidra again and happy new year to the family of God. I am so happy to bring to you another word of encouragement and to remind you that there is a power greater than whatever you are facing in your family, in your life, in your marriage. There may be a loved one that's away from God, but I want to remind you about the power that is greater than it all. The power of the cross. The power of the blood of Jesus. Let me remind you. Let me remind you. About the blood of the lamb. This is how we have already overcame the devil. And so whatever tears you have been crying. People of God. You have hope. You have been given the victory. You have been given the victory. And you have been given the greatest power. Over everything right now. That you are standing up against. You are not defeated. As the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 18. Paul says this and it is so powerful and it is so true. He says the message of the cross. Is foolish to those. Who are headed for destruction. But we who are being saved. No, it is the very power of God. And that is the truth, people of God. If you are away from the cross, if you ever get away from what Jesus Christ has done for you, it leads to destruction. The enemy will always have the upper hand. But those who stand upon the very truth of what Jesus done over 2,000 years ago, Gives you the greater advantage. Brings the power. It brings defeat and failure. And it causes you to resist the devil at every round. He cannot stand against the power of God that lies in the faith. Of what Jesus done for you already. Over 2,000 years ago. This is where the power is. Believing and knowing this truth. Remember it is the same truth that converted us and caused us to become the children of God is when we saw in the realm of the spirit in our own hearts and minds after hearing the gospel about what Jesus done for us it is the same power that broke the chains and the bondages and caused us to receive the freedom and victory and so it is the same thing that's going to cause you to succeed in everything, in every area of your life. Believe in what Jesus done. If that is what changed your life, think about it. The moment you believe and have the same faith that God not only done it for you when he shed his blood, but he also done it for your loved one, your family, your spouse. They now all are set free through the blood of Jesus. And the enemy wants to blind their minds so that they cannot believe the truth. But all it takes is you, that intercessor who knows the truth. Intercede on their behalf and watch that same blood, that same resurrection power that Jesus has given. You're going to find they are being free. The power of darkness is what's going to loose them out. And God is going to bless you for interceding. This is what pleases God. So believing upon what Jesus Christ has done, not only for you, but also your spouse. Over 2,000 years ago, when he died on the cross and defeated the battle against Satan's power and all death, all death, hell and the grave, is what opens the doors and brings deliverance. And wonder working power of God to be released. And you will see that loved one come out. You will begin to see the very things you're believing for concerning your marriage. Jesus paid the price for marriages to be restored back to God's original intent. Where we can have peace in our homes, in our lives, and in our families. Through the infilling and power of the Holy Spirit. 
Once a soul and a mind is filled with the Holy Spirit, Satan is cast out. And this is what the enemy doesn't want. He knows that if we can ever know about the truth of what Jesus done over 2,000 years ago, it releases the power of God that saves. It redeems a wicked mind. It causes a husband to love his wife because it is the same spirit of Christ. Hallelujah. That will cause a man to love his wife as Christ love us. And so the enemy doesn't want us to imitate Christ. He wants to keep God out of our lives. He wants to keep us separated from the Holy Spirit, but he cannot because all it takes is faith. All it takes is you people of God declaring what Jesus has done for your loved one. All it takes is your faith, your pure hands, you who have tasted the glory and the goodness of God. You who have tasted the converted life in Christ Jesus, you can now believe that this same power that dwells on the inside of you is being released in the life of your spouse and God will honor your request because he has called us to save souls. He has given us the same ministry of reconciliation. He has given us the same ministry of Christ Jesus to see captives free. Your faith in the power of God that raised Christ from the dead is what's going to release the family members that you are interceding for. Your family member, your, your spouse, your children. This is the Holy Spirit. This power of the Holy Spirit that your faith continues to trust in is the same mighty power that has stood against every rule of darkness. It is the same power that raised Christ from the dead. It is the same power that rules over every satanic force that's at work in the hearts of people in this world, leading them into rebellion against the will of God. It is the power of the Holy Spirit that will break that power of darkness into pieces and begin to release them and bring them out of the snares of the enemy. That power of darkness will begin to be lifted off of them. You will begin to see it, people of God, as you declare the blood, as you begin to declare what Jesus Christ done. I pray that God, I pray that God, the Holy Spirit, will begin to reveal to you the revelation of what the blood has done. The enemy is in trouble. The moment you get a revelation of this truth, it is the same truth that saved us when we knew what Jesus done for us. This good news is what made our lives become what it is. And so for those, and so for those that have not experienced this power and this, this relationship with God, it will be impossible for you to believe this same life for your loved one or for your spouse. It is so important that you have tasted the goodness of God and his riches, his glory and his honor. It makes it easier for you to know that this power is able to do the same thing for your family. And so I pray that each and every one is experiencing the glory of God. And for those that have not received Christ as your Lord and Savior, I pray that you enter into this new year with him in your life. It's what would change your family. It's what would turn around your marriage. No marriage can be a marriage filled with peace without the Prince of Peace, without the Lord of Lords. And his name is Jesus Christ, who has given us his Holy Spirit, who leads us into his examples, who leads us into truth, who leads us into a life of righteous living. We cannot do it in our own flesh. The flesh can only live a life that is not pleasing unto God. It is the flesh that causes a man to walk away from his wife and enter into a lifestyle of adultery and, and will reject his own children. It's the same flesh that causes a wife to do the same. It is the saving of our Lord Jesus Christ and his Holy Spirit that he provides a good life. It is through his Holy Spirit that he, can, that he can provide our marriages to be an example 
and an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. It is impossible for a man to love his wife as Christ when he cannot give the love of Christ because he don't have it in his heart. It is only when he has been given the love of Christ Jesus that he can love his wife. And so women of God, I pray that you will focus on your spouse, having that encounter, having that converted heart and mind so that they can live a life that is pleasing unto the Lord. And as a result, you will receive the blessing. You will see your husbands change. And people of God, I'm standing with you as well. I have loved ones that I'm believing God to rescue and to deliver and set free. And so we all come in agreement. We are standing together. Hallelujah. We are coming against this spirit of rebellion. We are coming against this spirit of a daughter. We are coming against this spirit of abuse. We are coming against this spirit of hatred and enmity. We are coming against this spirit of lawlessness. In the name of Jesus, by standing on what he done through his blood, the blood that paid the price. Hallelujah. For God is a God of restoration and healing and deliverance. And so the blood of Jesus has paid the price to loose loved ones, to loose them and give them access in his presence so that they can have a relationship with him. We still serve the same mighty God that spoke to Moses and told him to go confront Pharaoh and say to him to let my people go so that they can worship me. And so people of God, God is still saying the same thing to us. Stand against the enemy. Stand against this evil world. And the enemy. He may be at work seeming like he's conquering in your family, in your marriage, and in your life, and in the life of your loved ones. But let me please say this to you. With being a child of God, the enemy is already defeated. The enemy is already defeated by a child of God that's in faith and believes in the Son of God and knows what he has done on the cross for souls. It's us that walks in authority and holds the keys to bring deliverance and sets the captives free just by believing upon this truth and not drifting away from it. But believing what we first believed and heard in the beginning when we gave him our life. It is this very truth that we don't need to ever get away from. It conquers all. It is this truth about our Lord Jesus Christ that conquered death, hell, and the grave. Just by believing upon this truth, God sees you as righteous. God sees you as a friend of him. God hears and answers the prayers of the righteous. For the prayers of the righteous are valid much who are in Christ Jesus. For the Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 5 verse 4, for every child of God defeats this evil world. And we achieve this victory through our faith. That's all it takes is believing what Christ done for us. This is how we, we defeat this evil world. This is how you, you defeat every satanic attack that has come against your loved one, causing them to be hostile against the things of God, bringing division. So if one spouse is in light and the other one is in darkness, there will not be unity. So it's time to get that loved one out of darkness. By standing on what Jesus Christ has done for them. And you'll find peace and unity and oneness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you may be witnessing your spouse away from God. But it is time that you begin to challenge the enemy. It is time that you begin to stand up for what Christ has done in the life of your spouse over 2,000 years ago. It is time that you begin to see. See in the spirit of your mind by faith that your spouse was redeemed by the blood of the lamb over 2,000 years ago. Your spouse now can receive the mind of Christ. Their minds has been redeemed by the blood of the lamb. That's why. And has been redeemed from the curse that had them bound. Your spouse, your loved ones can get to receive 
the promise of the Holy Spirit and walk in the light of Christ. It's time that you go to war against the enemy and start declaring the victory Jesus has given them and declare that they are free through the sacrificial blood of the Lamb. The sacrificial Lamb of God has redeemed them. The sacrificial Lamb of God has redeemed your loved ones and, and has redeemed your spouse and has redeemed your children. It's time that you begin to obey God as a king who walks in authority, who has authority. And as a priest who has been given a priesthood mantle and the garments of Christ Jesus, where you can pray and intercede on their behalf, declaring the blood and the defeat of their enemy. God is always pleased. When we believe in the blood of the lamb, declaring the war that the Lord won and his angels against him, against the devil. In Revelation chapter 12, verses 7 through 11, shows us that there was a war in heaven and Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels. It says, and the dragon lost the battle and he and his angels were forced out of heaven. This great dragon, the ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, the one deceiving the whole world, was thrown down to the earth with all his angels. John the Apostle said, Then I heard a loud voice shouting across the heavens. It has come at last, salvation and power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters has been thrown down to earth. Talking about the enemy. The one who accuses them before our God day and night. And they have defeated him by the blood of the lamb and by their testimony. And they did not love their lives so much that they were afraid to die. So this means that all of us who stand upon this truth. How they have been redeemed by the blood of the lamb overcomes the accuser so the moment you begin to declare the blood of Jesus over your spouse you are declaring against the accuser who is constantly accusing us before God day and night when you declare what the blood has done for them they are declared free their eyes can be open all you have to do is intercede on their behalf and take your case before God in the courts of heaven, declaring how the enemy can no longer accuse them. They can be free now because Jesus was wounded for your loved one's transgressions and bruised for their iniquities, all of their sin. And the chastisement of their peace, their peace and reconciliation to come back to God was upon Christ. He was, he was whooped and chastised so that they could be reconciled back to God. And by his stripes, they are now healed. In every area of their being. In their spirit, soul, and body. It's time that someone begin to declare the benefits that Christ has done for your loved ones. Declare it. Your loved ones cannot see it. They don't know about this truth. All it takes is one intercessor who has this truth. Who knows it. Who believes in the blood of Jesus. Who knows what has happened. On their behalf over 2,000 years ago. They can receive this same promise. Of receiving the Holy Spirit. And have access. In the presence of our God. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us in verse 12. About the enemy. Of Revelation chapter 12. It says therefore rejoice O heavens. And you who live in the heavens rejoice. But terror will come. On the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down to you in great anger. Knowing that he has little time. Knowing that he has little time people of God. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of the enemy. For you have overcome the devil by the blood of the lamb. And so have your spouse. So have your children. So have your loved ones. By the word of your testimony. By the word of your testimony. And so stand on the blood. Stand on the blood of God and his righteousness that has cleansed them from all evil. Because of what he has done for them on the cross. Stand on this truth. For it is what sets 
at liberty the captives. The blood breaks the chains off of their minds and the confusion and all the discord and all the adultery, whatever you are seeing, every sin, the blood of Jesus washed it away. And so you have been given authority. The enemy cannot win against. Stand your ground and have no fear of him. Keep your family covered under the blood. The same way the enemy has been kicked out of heaven. He's being kicked out of your home. He's being kicked out of your life. He's being kicked out of your family and out of your marriage. And keep him out by not drifting away from what Jesus Christ has done for your family over 2,000 years ago. Yes, there is a spiritual war here in the earth. And the enemy is filled with wrath. Revelation tells us he is filled with anger because he has been kicked out of heaven and he knows that his time is short. And he's working against the family of God, bringing terror and wants to control over every life that Christ has set free through his blood. So let us also be filled with wrath, people of God, and take up our cross and deny ourselves. And follow after Christ. Fight for your families in Jesus name. Fight for their freedom. By standing on the blood. Declaring what Christ has done for them. The power of God that raised Christ from the dead. Is releasing the minds and spiritual eyes. I declare it and decree it. It is releasing the minds and spiritual eyes of husbands. And causing them to come out of darkness. And releasing wives. And releasing children. And it is also healing families and marriages. This is what the blood has done to set the captives free. By delivering their soul. And so this is why you will begin to see lives come in alignment with the will of God. Because Christ has washed away the bondage. He has broken the power of the devil who had them up under his influence. And now bringing the people of God, bringing souls back to God's original intent. Where a man can love his wife. As Christ loved the church. You see because the enemy is the one behind it. He is the one behind it. Keeping husbands from loving their wives. Keeping their minds blind. Causing them not to see their identity in Christ. Causing them not to see Christ for who he is. And when a person cannot see Christ. How can they become like him? So it is by their eyes being opened. Sin. The goodness of God. That leads to repentance. It's what can cause a man to love his wife as Christ loves the church. And the wife can honor and respect her husband as unto the Lord. And, and children respecting their mother and their father and honoring them. That all go well for them and they live long in the earth. You know, as Joshua said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And this, let this be what you stand upon, people of God. Seeing your household saved and delivered. And you also free, free from whatever bondages has held you captive. It is time that you also come in alignment with the will and the word of God for anyone that has been away from God. Let the Holy Spirit fill your life. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. It is through your sanctification in God that can win that spouse to the Lord. For the Bible tells us that a sanctified husband or a wife will also sanctify their spouse and their children. Hallelujah. We have been given authority over the earth. We have been given the kingdom of heaven who are filled with the Holy Spirit. And this is what the enemy doesn't want to happen in our lives. He doesn't want our lives to bring forth the fruitful ways of right living and our souls to prosper. He doesn't want us to prosper and we be in health as our souls. He wants our house to be divided. He is filled with anger. He's after every soul. But thank God for the blood of Jesus. Thank God for the lamb. Thank God for the one who went before us. Who laid down his life for us when he died upon the cross. And so now, because he has laid down his life, when he was hung up on the cross, he became a curse for us. 
He has redeemed us from the curse. For the Bible tells us that curse is anyone that is hung up on the cross. So now that he has been hung up on the cross, he redeemed families from the curse. He has redeemed your life from the curse. He has redeemed your marriage from the curse. And so now we can receive the blessing of the promised Holy Spirit. And wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. There is the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, kindness, patience, meekness, temperance, self-control. There is faith. There is goodness. And so this is why the adversary, the devil, comes to deceive and blind the minds and the hearts of people because he doesn't want them to come to the knowledge of truth. He doesn't want them to receive the identity of Christ Jesus so that families can represent the kingdom of God. Stand on the blood, people of God. When you stand up on the blood, you are saying, wait a minute, I'm free. My spouse is free. My children are free because Christ paid the price, devil. Get out. Get out. You see, the blood binds you to the truth and it binds us to the benefits of Christ. This is why we overcome the devil. It is because Jesus paid the price. So that we overcome him. And so the devil can't take that back. He can only keep anyone bound who don't know the truth. Who don't know what they have been given through Christ Jesus. So that is what the good news is about. It is about us being free. And so what you are seeing in the natural is subject to change. It is subject to change. And it will change the moment someone believes what Christ has done. You'll see the power of the devil be lifted. You'll begin to see your life come in alignment. And the benefits of Christ Jesus begin to be activated. Because you have received what Christ has done. And as the Lord says, I tell you the truth. He says, you can pray for anything. And when you believe you receive what you've prayed and asked for, it will be yours. And why can we know that we have received what we've asked for? It's because Christ has paid the price for us to ask for anything concerning his word. These things came with a price. So take advantage of the price Jesus has paid for you to have to live a life of godliness and, and see captives free in your family and in your household, your spouse to receive the Holy Spirit and the manifestations of Christ Jesus operating your family and in your marriage hallelujah declare it every day that you are free tell the devil to get out because the blood was shed he has no right you see he'll only stay where he's allowed to stay he'll only continue stealing and shoplifting taking what don't belong to his if no one is standing up for what they have been redeemed from if you don't say nothing the devil surely won't and so it is time, people of God, that you dry your tears and begin to rejoice, declaring what Jesus has done for you. And I tell you, when you believe this, who can cry? Who can be in sorrow when they know that the price has been paid? It's no different than a person ordering things online. And because you have not yet received the merchandise that you have purchased, doesn't mean anything you know that as long as you have purchased it that the deliverer is on his way well that's the same way it is with what christ has done for us it has already been purchased everything you're needing pertaining to your life and godliness in your marriage the bible says a man shall leave father and mother and be joined to his wife and they too shall be united into one flesh all of this was purchased Jesus knew that a man will eventually walk away from his wife, that Satan will come in. He knew that a wife would eventually walk away from her husband because Satan will find a way in. And so he has already paid the price for that marriage to be healed. Jesus has gone ahead of the devil. He has defeated him in every way. And so now that you know that your marriage has been purchased to be healed and your spouse and you can now be one flesh as Christ and the church are one. Because of his gift and his love for you. You now have so much to rejoice about. 
you know that it has been purchased. Now you're just waiting for the manifestation. You're waiting for the deliverance. Hallelujah. To be manifested and to come in fruition. So now that you know that it is on the way and you've received what you've asked for. This now gives you an opportunity for joy and praise and thanksgiving unto Jesus for what he has done. Only those who are crying and, and are, are just hopeless. It's because they don't know the truth yet. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing by the word of God. It is time that you begin to hear about the good news. I am bringing to you the good news. It is where the power is. It is where the power is. It is what will set you free. Hallelujah. You know, just like what Paul says back in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 18. He says the message of the cross, meaning the message about what Christ has done, is foolish to those who are headed for destruction. But we who are being saved, meaning we who knows the truth, know it is the very power of God. We know that we have been redeemed. We know, hallelujah, what, set, what has set us free in our homes and marriages. We know what has set our lives free. We can see what Christ has done for us. So dry your tears, people of God. You have, you have no, no reasons to be filled with anxiety and fear. As Paul says, be careful for nothing. Don't worry about nothing. Be anxious for nothing. But by prayer and supplications with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the God of peace, the God of peace, will cover and guard your heart and your mind that passes all understanding. Meaning just by you knowing this truth, you have no reason to be filled with fear. You're not hopeless. All you need to do is just tell God what you need and give him thanks for all he has done. Give him thanks for the, for the blessings he has purchased for you to have before the foundation of the world. And also, he has given you the grace and this peace to cover and guard your heart and your mind while you wait for the promises to be fulfilled in your life. Meaning while you wait for the eyes of your spouse understanding to be enlightened. Or meaning while you wait for that marriage to come in alignment for God's own will. Or wait for that marriage to come in alignment. With what God promised, where a man shall leave father and mother and cleave unto his wife, and they become one flesh. This is what you hold on to. Hallelujah. The word of God will give you peace by you declaring what Christ has done. The God of peace will be with you. Your life will become a life filled with thanksgiving and praise. Your tears will begin to dry up. The mourning and the suffering will begin to let up. You'll be renewed in your strength. Your soul will begin to prosper and heal. And heal. By knowing the truth. You can rejoice. You can rejoice and you can stand on the purchase. That Jesus has made for you. And your spouse. Your loved ones. The devil has to flee. The moment you begin to declare and believe the word. This is how you overcome him. Just by knowing this truth of what Jesus done. Praise the Lord. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. That your people, Lord God, will enter into this new year with joy and rejoicing in what Jesus Christ has done. Declaring how their enemy has been defeated. Declaring how their marriages are healed. Declaring how their spouses are coming home. Declaring how their spouses has been freed. Lord, I pray that you will comfort them with this truth. That you will show them the revelation and the meaning of the blood of Jesus for those, oh God, that not yet been able to understand it all. This love, oh God, this love, Lord God, that you've shown, that you have shown over 2,000 years ago when you gave your life for us. It is finished. Everything has been restored now. We're not fighting from a place of defeat and failure. We're standing from a place of victory. It is finished. We call it done. Marriages are healed. Spouses are coming home. 
Their minds are being renewed. They are having the mind of Christ. They are being filled with the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I stand with each and every one who are joining, who are joining with me now. I declare and decree that they will begin to see the power of the Holy Spirit. The blood of Jesus break the power of the enemy and their family members come out with the victory. Their marriage is turning around in Jesus' name. I declare this over every family. Every born again believer will see victory and has defeated the enemy. Oh, we praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus, for causing each and every one of us to prosper. And be in health even as our souls prosper. And our family members and marriages can now live again. We glorify you. We worship you. Praise him, people of God. Thank him. Don't lose sight of what he has already done for you. This is what will bring you joy. Remember, believing upon the cross is where the power is. The power of peace and rest will come upon your life. It will come upon you. You will find that you are renewed in your strength just by knowing this truth. Remember, people of God, God loves you and I love you too. And thank you all so much that have been a support in this ministry over the years. Thank you all so much that have joined and tuned in with me. God loves you. Get ready. The best is yet to come. And until next time, remember, you are blessed.